So, hello, uh, my name's Stuart. I'm, today I'm going to be playing you uh, some pieces that I've written and arranged that are kind of inspired by my wide ranging repertoire of interests. Uh, this first piece is from a series that I'm calling Songs of Isolation called Spring's Return and I kind of wrote it all in one go and it just arrived in my head fully formed as I was listening to the birds outside my window and kind of reminded that no matter what's going on in the world of people uh, nature just carries on the seasons come and go and spring does return so I kind of wrote this piece as a reminder to myself as much as anything that this too shall pass whatever's going on in the world so this is Spring's Return from Songs of Isolation
Thank you. Uh, so, as I said, I've got a lot of uh, sort of diverse musical influences. Um, one of them being uh, music of West Africa, Mando people, which I started learning about two and a half, three years ago. Uh, first from recordings by a guitarist called Derek Gripper, who makes uh, classical guitar arrangements of West African core pieces for the guitar. And then through talking to more musicians and kind of learning from them, uh, which is how I got introduced to Flotsam Sessions. I met Maya after, uh, Moa rather, uh, after a concert and uh, kind of learned some core pieces from her and learned a few more tricks about playing West African music. Uh, so this next piece is one from that tradition. I'm just going to play you a short song by the late great Malian guitarist uh, Ali Fakatore. Uh, this is a song called Bakoye. So that song kind of demonstrates what I really like about playing uh, West African Mande tunes. Um, kind of the repeating groove bass line, uh, kind of limited chordal palette, if you like, and it kind of encourages you to improvise and make use of melodic motifs and mix and express yourself on the fly in a way as a musician. And I wanted to I wanted to see if I could bring that to other forms of music that I play, that kind of improvisatory styling and the groove and the repeating cyclical nature of it. And around the same time as I was kind of diving headfirst into English folk song, um, in particular the folk song of Oxfordshire, where I'm from originally. Um, so I did it with, I kind of took that and put it into this arrangement of uh, a song called The Mayday Carol, which is from Banbury in Oxfordshire, just up the road from me. And alongside that I mixed it with other sort of structural, melodic elements of some Indonesian music that I also play, uh, gamelan, which I will get to later. So this is an arrangement of The Mayday Carol, and 
I'll play the carol, I'll play the tune first on its own, just so you can hear how it sounds originally, and then I'll launch into what I've done with it.
Thank you all for coming to watch. Uh, I'm just going to play you a couple more tunes, I think. Um, while I'm just tuning up into another piece, uh, just a reminder that uh, Flotsam have a PayPal donations page because this is all free for all participants and viewers of the content. Um, they've got a, they're inviting donations on PayPal just to kind of keep this whole affair running. So if you have anything to spare, you know it's hard times, please give if you can. Um, so this next piece is another chord arrangement I've made of uh, a song called Fally by uh, Mamadou Djibate. Um, I kind of started with, when I was first learning chord pieces, I started with some of the big names like Tumani Djibate, uh, Balake Sissoko, and then I started looking for lesser known names. And I, I came across, or lesser known to me anyway, I should say, and I came across this wonderful solo chord, chord piece by Mamadou from his album Heritage. Uh, so this is Fale. got the tuning right, that was good. Uh, so this will be the final piece that I play for you today. Uh, like I said, I just want to say thank you so much to Moa and Maya at Flotsam for having me for this concert, and thank you all for watching. Um, so this piece came about in a really strange way. I got, uh, I was at an event with a group of Indonesian people in London 
at Christmas at the end of last year, which feels like 400 years ago, and I was introduced to a concept called the Wallace Line, which I'd never heard before, and it was posited by a British naturalist called, uh, I've got the name there, Alfred Russell Wallace, who kind of at the same time as Darwin came up with the idea of evolution, and he went to Indonesia, or what is now Indonesia, published a book called the Malay Archipelago, and came up with this idea called the Wallace Line, which was a, a metaphorical line between the islands of what is now Indonesia, uh, separating the flora and the fauna into two categories, which are those that are primarily descended from Asia, and those that are primarily sort of related to animals from Polynesia, Austronesia, uh, that kind of thing. And I became endlessly fascinated with this idea and wanted to write a piece reflecting that through a number of lenses. Uh, so the idea of a continuous musical line running across a whole piece, but shaped by my kind of musical influences and there are clear distinct sections where one influence ends and another begins but also a bit of blurring and mixing between so i came up with a motif and tried to filter it and imagine it through several different musical lenses you know what would it sound like as a classical counterpoint what would it sound like as a bit of folk tune inspired what would it sound like as minimalist motifs working or if I influenced it with West African sort of bass lines and cyclical structures or brought in some Indonesian gamelan melodic ideas like uh, sakarang they're called and kind of the structure so hopefully you'll hear all of that in this piece uh, which will be the final thing that I play this is my composition the Wallace line again thank you to everyone at Flotsam for having me